What's up with Uber is capable. Let's take a look into vacuum cleaner. Since the invention of vacuum cleaner, it has become an indispensable home appliance in our house. Reason is very obvious. Uh, you can't unpick every debris or sawdust from your rocks or other places in the house. The vacuum cleaner uses a suction mechanism. Uh, to understand this principle, let's look at something simple. Sucking a drink with a straw. When you sip a drink with a straw, you are causing a period difference. There is a higher pressure at the bottom of the straw and a lower pressure at the top of the straw. And because fluid in general moves from a region of higher pressure to a region of lower pressure, your drink is forced upwards into your mouth. Let's look at pressure as a kind of force. Yeah, the, the sucking force you are applying on the uh, on the straw. In this video, I'll be understanding how the, the, the vacuum cleaner works. The vacuum cleaner might appear complicated, but it actually consists of uh, six essential parts. The first is the intake port, which may include other cleaning accessories. Then we have the exhaust port, the motor, the blade, a porous bag and a housing that contains all other components. When you plug in your vacuum cleaner and turn it on, what happens? The electric current begins to operate the motor. The motor rotates the fan, which has angled blade. Secondly, the, 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 the fan begins to rotate and force air towards the exhaust port. When hair particles are driven forward, there is a increase in pressure in front of the fan and a decrease in pressure behind the fan. Do you understand that? You see, the prayer, the, the prayer drop between the front and the back of the fan is just like the prayer drop between the top and the bottom of um, the straw when you sip your, your drink. The prayer level around the area behind the fan is much more lower compared to the prayer level outside the outside the vacuum cleaner. Where well, this cause a kind of a, a partial vacuum and a suction, it sucks in uh, hair particles. Like I said earlier, hair moves from a region of higher pressure to a region of lower pressure. We have been able to create a lower pressure in the vacuum cleaner therefore there's a higher pressure outside the vacuum cleaner then the particles moves from outside the vacuum cleaner into the vacuum cleaner through the inlet port as long as the vacuum cleaner is running there will be a continuous stream of hair particles from outside the vacuum cleaner into the vacuum cleaner to the inlet port so there you have it now you know how a vacuum cleaner works it simply does its cleaning by forcing in hair particles and because of friction um, other debris and sawdust are, show, are also taken in alongside with the hair particles inside the uh, vacuum cleaner and stored in the porous bag if you like the video please like and subscribe also hit your bell to get notified thank you